two, three. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, let's go full speed. You can see, as soon as I press the accelerator, like this, the acceleration power is crazy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Absolutely crazy. Let's have a look out of here. We're gonna do another couple of speed tests and acceleration tests and stuff like that. This is the Kugo G Booster that's been given to me by again eScoot.ie just for our testing review purposes. Listen, we're gonna have a look at this scooter. The specs of it alone are absolutely crazy. I mean, the dual motors on this, it's the first scooter I've ever reviewed that has dual motors, and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit scary at first because I've never felt that kind of power. Well, let's have a look at it now. Close look at the specs, the features, just look at it. Doesn't it look pretty sweet? Now, one of the things I want to point out about this is that this has around 600 kilometers on it. So it means that it's been well used, which is a good way to review something, to really get a feel for it and how durable they really are. As you can see here, the handlebars are pretty sweet. You have the yellow switch here, which is for the lights. You have this one here, which is for the single or dual motors. EScoot.ie did say to me, when you use the dual motors on these, it's less stress on the controllers. So that's what I have been doing. One of the things I don't like about it is this flimsy bell. You know, I think it's kind of pointless, to be honest. You have the key here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's simply... I'll tell you about that now in a second actually. It displays the voltage. So you just turn it on, turn it off, and away you go. You actually get one of these phone holders with it. I had my phone on it coming up here and it held it no problem. There's plenty of grip on it, so that's pretty sweet. It's not, you know, it's not one of those cheap things you get where you know you're worried about something falling off and breaking. You have the display mode here, you just simply obviously hold that down. You get the display popping up here. You've gear one, gear two, gear three, and just to show you guys the mileage on this. 661 kilometers it's been well used let's have a look at some of the other features now the lights on it at the front here let's have a closer look the lights on it are a bit, a bit crazy they're a bit funky looking one of the funny things i noticed that that handlebar there it's actually a kid's handlebar <laughs> so that's kind of funny you also have the pretty sweet x-tech brakes here now the stopping power on this the stopping power is absolutely brilliant i have enough confidence to know that if i'm going full speed on this it's going to stop with no issues whatsoever another good point about it is the stem on it you just unscrew this and the handlebar folds and then obviously to put it in place you give it a good squeeze i'm not going to lie it's rock solid hasn't given any issues there's no there's not a lot of play in it, more than confident on it. Another thing that I don't like about it is the fact that this grip tape here, I tried to clean it. I cleaned most of the scooter, but I could not for the life of me get this grip tape clean, which yeah, it wrecks my head because I like my scooters to be nice and clean, but look, what can you do? It has over 600 kilometers on it, so sometimes you, you, you can't be picky. The mud guards on it, I'm not crazy about, but you know, you'd probably have a bit of splashing coming up on your back there if it was kind of raining out. They pretty, they feel pretty firm. The front one is grand as well. You can see a closer look at here how it looks. What do you think? Comment below, what do you think of one of these? Have you ever actually tried a dual motor scooter? I'm curious. It has the pneumatic tires. Something that I want to point out here 
I was on this the other day coming home from work. I got a flat on this, which I was, you know, I, was, I just couldn't believe it, you know. So eScoot.ie told them what happened. They fixed it in under 10 minutes. They didn't have to take the wheel off. And that's one of the things about the scooters. For the flats, they're a lot easier to change because you don't have to take it off. So that's one of the good points about the scooter. Absolutely, hands down, something that a lot of scooters you know, should have. It has lights underneath, red on both sides, which is pretty sweet. The discs, nice big chunky discs on them. And the power alone on this is pretty sweet. Going up a hill is no issues at all with this. I got to walk in a 17 kilometer trip. Took me about 35 minutes. That's going on an average speed of around 30 kilometers an hour. So, you know, what more could you want? That's facing hills as well on all types of terrain. So let's get a few cool shots here. As always with the 360 degree camera, there is one thing I want to point out. If you plan on getting something like this and you've never been on a scooter in your life, please don't get one of these. Get something small, like what I did when I started with the Show Me scooter that I still have, that I still plan on doing some more upgrades to. And by the way, there's a Show Me getting built at the moment with a dual motor and full suspension. So I'm gonna do a review on that as soon as possible. But please, don't go out and get such a high powered scooter initially. They are so dangerous. You need to get a feel for it first, a feel for the smaller scooters. Then you can build up the confidence slowly to get one of these. So that is just something that I just want to point out, just to be completely honest with you. Because if I would have gotten one of these first and not ever been on a scooter in my life, I probably would have crashed. I probably would have caused myself some serious injury. So please always do be cautious on the side of purchasing your first scooter. So enough talking, let's crack on. Numbers on my phone, they keep calling me. Calling me. Girlies at my shows, why they all on me? All on me. I don't want them no, get them all off them me. All on me. Say say that for hell, she a cause. She see. a cause. You see. Four cars deep, we'll come through on a lane night. Mm -hmm. Chicken spot, wings and fries, we call that a day night. Mm -hmm. Lights on, so out, I don't have no stage fright. Right. Knew that I was built for this forever, ever, ever. All my friends, we ride beamers, we ride bands, ten times ten. All my friends, it's for real, till the end. Ten times ten. All my friends, we ride beamers, we ride bands, ten times ten. All my friends, it's for real, till the end. Circle small can't let too many close to, to me. Love my brodies, they all hit the road. No, hit the road. We get to that back now talking groceries. Talkin groceries. The blood is thin when you can bed up to loyalty. Five steps back, never pass. All right, nobody around. Let's go again. One, two, three. <laughs> Nothing like it at all. It ha it's the fastest scooter I've gone on so far. But the power, Jesus, whoa. The only one of the downfalls about this is the weight. It's quite heavy. It's not something I'd fancy carrying up a flight of stairs all the time, put it that way. So you'd have to have a lift or, you know, just a house because it is really heavy. It's chunky. Range is really good, suspension is really good, tires are really good, power is absolutely fantastic. Deck size is very comfortable. The other day I went 17 kilometers on it. It was quite comfortable to be honest, it wasn't really bad on the knees or the ankles. Come to show me, the deck is quite small. I still have the standard deck on that, so I'd we'll probably be investing in a berry board at some stage. But um, very good. It, you can see the acceleration, the braking. 
Let's get across here. Like the acceleration is crazy. Whoa. Absolutely crazy. Holy smokes. thing I'm waiting on is um, some goggles because the wind in your face in your eyes is a bit you know it ain't, it's not exactly comfortable so I'm gonna get a full helmet at some stage and a good pair of goggles because you, you'll need it 100% Well, there we go guys, that's the Kugo G Booster. If you wanna have a look at the current prices of this, they are linked below in the description. And if you have enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a thumbs up. And listen, stay safe on your scooter, wear that helmet, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Anxious.